you know that I'm dating your wife? <laughs> <laughs> Lily went on a date with my wife last night. I was like, Allie, what do you want to do for dinner? She's like, I'm going on a date with Lily. They're like BFs. So last night, WADA, which is the World Anti-Doping Agency, came to the pool before afternoon practice to drug test both Annie and myself. Oh, it's really dark still. Pretty much missed all of workout for a drug test. Oh yeah. It was uh... You missed the good one too. It wasn't... I'm still upset about it. Let me change and then I'll tell you the story. <laughs> drug test. So let me uh... Let me tell you what happened. So we get drug tested like pretty regularly around here because there's like 15 pros, a lot of US national team swimmers here. There's organizations coming to drug test us all the time. Most regularly USADA, which is the United States Anti-Doping Agency, or WADA, which is the World Anti-Doping Agency. When one of those organizations comes to test us, normally they come right before practice because that's when we set our 60 minute time slot. You see, you're required to give those organizations a 60 minute window every day of your life where they can come and drug test you and you have to be there every day. Now, we normally put our 60 minute window right before practice because we always know we're gonna be at the pool. So yesterday afternoon, WADA shows up. But here is the problem. Only one of the group of three people here to test us showed up to test us on time. This person notified us. The other two people were not here. Now, they were here to take blood and urine. When you have to give blood, if you're notified prior to workout, you cannot work out before giving blood to the testers. That's the rule. They notified us around 2 p.m., but we had to wait over an hour for the other two testers just to get here so that they could actually perform the test. So Annie and I ended up sitting on deck waiting for like an hour and a half. Then they got here, we did our pee test, we did our blood test, we did all our forms, and that took probably 30 minutes. And by that time, the team was warming down, finishing practice, meaning we missed pretty much all of yesterday afternoon for the drug test. I will point out that that was a first, that kind of thing has never happened before, but I'm still irritated by it. Not cool. Gary can attest, I, we, oh, yeah. were, we were just sitting there and yeah. that's never happened before, but it was just, it was, it was really annoying. The team finished workout yesterday afternoon with a hundred all out from like diving off the side. And Gary went out with Blake like a champion. <laughs> Idiot. I say he was a hero, but it was fun to watch. Blake won, but Gary, Gary did his best and I'm, I'm proud of him for it. Mishu is in the breaststroke group on Mondays now. And I have a very funny story to tell you about him. Halfway through practice, Ray gave us a 200 for time negative split. And everyone's like, okay, everyone be chill on the first 100. We're looking around, everyone's like, all right, we're gonna be smooth, we're gonna be good. And I turn at the 100 mark. I look to my left, I'm ahead of everyone on that side of the pool. I look to my right, and this guy is a body length ahead of me. And I'm like, oh, and I had to dig down and give every part of my soul to run him down. <laughs> I got you though. I go up to Blake and Zach to tell them the story and they're like, oh yeah, that's classic Mishu. Clearly he does that all the time. He's got no chill that first hundred. He just goes. Blake, how's the workout? This is the last week of conditioning and then we break off into groups. So today's the last day that everyone who's a non-butterfly has to do a butterfly practice. Yes. Which I'm gonna kinda miss because I think it's fun to watch people struggle through this stuff. Corey's announcing the warm up right now, then it's go time. 30 seconds. It'll be the first one in. It'll be the first one in the pool. Yes. the body for some butterfly this morning. Ooh, you gotta love it. The main set this morning is really the kick set because after the kick set is the butterfly set which don't get me wrong has some fast stuff in it but it's mostly drills and skulls and technique with just like sprinkled in pain here and there. So the kick set we're gonna do goes like this. Roll through this twice. Twice. 
you to the eye. I want you to be fair. Do be fair. Watch the rest looking for speed. Not this job to the next. I'll go look at I'm looking for the speed, I just don't know where it is. Gary's about to go first in his lane, go ahead of Lily. Bold move. Good luck, everybody. All right, we're starting to set. There we go, we're starting to set. Being able to bank rest is nice. It means after the fast one, you can go right into the easy one and add up the rest so that you're on the wall. It's nice. Almost done with the butterfly set. We're gonna finish the 250s fast, and we're done. Good job, everybody. We did it. We did it. Oh, what a good way to start the day. A lot of butterfly. Mm. One, two, three, who's this? Like that giant what a beautiful day today is turning into. We are on our way home now because you guys know we've been working on our kitchen. It's been under construction for several weeks now. Construction on this kitchen has taken a lot longer than planned, but it's gonna be worth it. I'm telling you right now, by next week's vlog, it'll be done. Don't don't hold me to that, but I, but I think I think it'll be done. Ooh. Kitchen update. A lot of work has gone into this because we've been doing all of it on our own. We have countertops. These suckers went in yesterday. They just went in. Obviously backsplash and then the hood that's gonna go over the stove here is what's next. There's the sink that's gonna go in probably tomorrow. The island is looking really good. Gonna be able to sit all the way around it. I've gotta finish the trimming on the inside right there on the corner. It's just like little things. Good boy, Lego. Good boy, you wanna go outside? All right, go play Lego, go play. Puff, I just let Lego outside. Do you wanna go outside too? You wanna go outside? All right, you can just lay there, that's cool. Oh, you do wanna go outside, okay. Go play with Lego, Puff. 24 hours later. We just finished a gnarly breaststroke practice and I wasn't planning on vlogging at all today, but I feel compelled to break out the camera and talk a little bit right now, so indulge me. How's the light? The light over here is absolute garbage. I was in a horrible mood before workout this afternoon for a number of reasons. I had a really hard lift this morning, and then the entire time between finishing workout this morning and then diving in the pool today, I was either on my feet, working, or doing something, and I just had no time to recover, so I was exhausted going into the pool. And I was like, I wasn't gonna vlog because I wasn't in a good mood, and I was like, didn't want to be here. I genuinely didn't want to be here. And that's kind of rare for me. Like normally I'm always, even if I'm not feeling the best, I'm, I'm upbeat and happy to be here, but I was not feeling it. And I told Ray before practice, I'm like, dude, I'm fried. Like this is going to suck. And he put his hand on my shoulder and he's like, just, just a little bit here and there, just a little bit, just get through it. Just get through it just a little bit. And I'll tell you what I dove in and we did the first set and we did 10 50s with a parachute with fins and paddles and it wasn't awful i was like not feeling good but i swam through it and i was like okay this isn't horrible and ray was like okay just a little bit more just a little bit more and then we did the kick set and we did 10 50s kick with a pocketed drag suit and i did a little bit better i was surprising myself and then we did a 400 kick for time and i was shockingly very fast i kicked like a 445 400 breaststroke kick on a board and at that point I was like wow I am really surprising myself and then we did a pull set which was 425s pull fast into a 200 negative split pull that's with a paddles buoy tube and by the third 200 I was sub 210 in a 200 pull which is very fast and I was like just just blown away and then we did a swim set and we did three 200s double pull out breaststroke swim and on my last 200, I went a 158 at the end of this 6,000 yard horrific breaststroke practice. And I'll tell you what, today was just one of those days, I don't like to be preachy in my videos, like I don't like to preach things, I don't want people to feel like I'm talking down to them, like I just wanted to explain that today was a day where I genuinely didn't even want to get in the water, and I had want, I forced myself to do so, and as Ray was encouraging me lightly throughout the workout, I ended up having one of the best workouts that I've had for as long as I can remember. Like today was a, not just a good practice, it was a great practice. Like I was flying and 
before the practice even started, I was hurting, mentally fatigued, physically fatigued, not in a good headspace, and I don't, I can't even, I can't tell you how all that came to be, but I overcame that today, and it feels real, like I'm like psyched right now, like I'm like filled with joy, I'm like so happy, I can't wait to go home and tell Ali about how great it was, especially after we've been working on our kitchen all day. She's been doing way more of the work than I have, but I've been trying to help. So that's basically it. I don't like to be preachy or give advice, but when coaches say sometimes you can accomplish things and work out even when you're not feeling good, today is one of those days where I actually witnessed and experienced that, and I'm really, really psyched about it. Gary and I were flying today. I was like, on these 200s pull, I was like, all right, Gary, I'm gonna go out, hunt me down two different strategies uh cody was out super fast and then i tried to catch him and almost got him you almost got me though i, I was i was being your rabbit i was like come yeah. on gary come on for the first and then the last one we both just went we were it. flying it was, it was great we died yeah. so hard oh, sometimes you got to do that though you know <laughs> sometimes you got to do that yeah that's how you get in shape i wish i had broke out my camera during practice to vlog but because i was in such a horrible mood earlier i didn't yep anyway of course today you don't bring it i know i blew it See you later gary Love you, buddy. I'm on my way home now. Okay, as always, guys, make sure you're following me on social media, at Swim Miller on Twitter and at Cody Miller on Instagram. Vlogs every Wednesdays. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and share my videos with your swimmer friends. That really helps me. <laughs> it's very hot in my car right now. Okay, until my next video, I will see you guys later. Dude.